How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. In this video, we're taking a hands-on look at iOS 15 Developer Beta 4. Check it out. One of the very first things that I tried when I installed iOS 15 Developer Beta 4 was the MagSafe battery pack because previously, while the MagSafe battery pack did work on iOS 15 Developer Beta 3, the iOS integration wasn't fully baked yet. So I wanted to try that out here on Beta 4. So here's how it used to look on iOS Developer Beta 3. You can see the battery pack is, is represented by basically a lightning cable. And when you go into the large battery widget, you can see it just says generic UPS. And it lacks the nice little animation on the lock screen when you connect. Now here it is on Beta 4 and you can actually see the Maxi battery pack represented properly on the widget there. And when you go into the large battery widget, you can see it says Maxi battery pack. So you get full integration for that Maxi battery pack. Speaking of which, I do have a nitty gritty hands-on in-depth review of the Maxi battery pack coming up, thumbs up if you're looking forward to watching that. Now let's talk about some of the other changes and features in Beta 4. Now, previously we talked about the camera app icon, how it got updated. There's no longer that uh, shutter button on the camera icon. And now the lock screen icon has been updated with no shutter button on it as well, just to match the rest of the UI. So that's a nice change, very subtle, but nice nonetheless. Now let's go into the settings app here and we're gonna go to control center and we're going to scroll down until we find notes. Now look at the updated notes icon for control center. No longer has the little representation of the Apple pencil. Instead, it's just a note with the little plus sign. And you'll see that appear right here within the control center as well. Now, like I said previously, this note shortcut was basically just a, a square note. Uh, there wasn't any text on the note, by the way, and it had the sort of like a representation of the Apple Pencil above the note, but now that has changed. One of the headlining features of iOS 15 are the focus modes. So for instance, you can enable a reading focus when you wanna focus on reading. The cool thing is the Messages app can actually share that focus status, but now in iOS 15 beta 4, you can turn that on or off on a contact by contact basis. Now, when you add a widget stack to your iOS home screen, you'll notice an updated smart rotate button when you go in and edit that stack. So long press, select edit stack, and now notice the smart rotate button. Instead of the stack icon, like in the previous beta, you now have sort of like a bar graph, but what's really cool is the animation that appears when you tap that button. You didn't have an animation before. Look at that, now watch this. That's really cool, right? You also get an updated widget suggestions button, which has its own nicely done animation, but I really love the smart rotate. Let's do that again. Looks really cool. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section. The shortcuts app now gets a return to home screen action. So I'm gonna add a new action here to open an app. We're just gonna open up the app store and then I'm gonna choose another action and we'll just search for it here. So just type in R-E-T, there we go, return to home screen. So that is a brand new action. We tap the info button, you can see what it does. <laughs> it returns to the home screen of the device. Simple, straightforward, to the point. So we have our new shortcut, we'll just give it a name, I don't know, let's call it haha. -ha. how about that? But the point is, I just wanna show you what this does. It's gonna do exactly what the name says it does and return to the home screen. So let's go ahead and hit the play button in the bottom right hand corner. It's gonna open up the app store and then return to the home screen. So this is a great way for shortcuts developers to get their users back to the home screen after executing their shortcut. Now another slight tweak in iOS 15 beta 4 is an updated notifications icon. You'll notice it now has a bell with a little notification indicator instead of just the ambiguous square or rounded rectangle. I have to say, I think this is a good change. What do you guys think? And speaking of notifications, when you go into the notifications preferences, you're gonna notice a new screen sharing option. So if you tap that, you can turn notifications on or off during a screen share using SharePlay or when using screen mirroring. So just simply toggle that on to turn notifications on or toggle it off to keep notifications off. 
in developer beta 4 when you access your account in the app store just by tapping the icon in the upper right hand corner you'll notice now you have the updated cells in the account page previously they extended all the way to the sides in the photos app you'll notice a new visual lookup ui so just tap the little information button at the bottom you still have your visual lookup button right on the image itself but now below that you see this little cell here that allows you to tap. It's just easier to tap, in my opinion. It provides a little bit more verbose information. Obviously, that lookup was incorrect. This is not a bloodhound. Uh, but let's look up another. Here it is, nature. So we just tap on that. Let's see if it gets it right this time. Yes, it does. Garden Cosmos for all you green thumbs out there. Another addition to the Photos app is that you can now share memories. Previously, the little share icon was grayed out. You couldn't actually tap it. But now in iOS 15 Developer Beta 4, you can share your memories with your friends or whoever else, even your enemies if you, if you want to. It'd kind of be weird though, wouldn't it? Unsurprisingly, Safari receives quite a few changes in Developer Beta 4, starting with the reload button that is now a permanent fixture. Yes, even that little tiny reload button, you can tap that just like that to refresh the page. There's even the stop button that appears as well and you can tap that as well. Now let's maximize the address bar and you'll see the reload button stays there also. Now another new update for Safari and Developer Beta 4 that no doubt a lot of people will appreciate is the swapping out of the ellipsis button which contained quite a few options like share for instance. Now it is a dedicated share button right there so you just tap share and there you can easily share a web page just like that that is such a, a must-have feature it's crazy to me that this wasn't there in the beginning now here's another new feature that you'll appreciate in developer beta 4 if you long press on the address bar you now have the show bookmarks option so you can simply tap on that to show all of your bookmarks after long pressing on the address bar so let's go ahead and tap on show bookmarks and shocker, it shows your bookmarks. All right, so let's talk about another new feature, and that is the ability to quickly invoke reader mode simply by tapping the reader icon at the bottom that appears just like that. So you get a little small icon similar to the really small reload button. You can easily toggle reader mode on or off just like that. But there's another way to invoke reader mode if you're in the tab view. So let me show you that. So let's just tap the little tab icon to open tab view. Now you simply long press on an eligible tab like this, and now you can show reader mode. And you can turn it off just like that. Okay, so now let's talk about some changes that come to iPad OS 15 developer beta 4. Let's start off with the new extra large podcast widget. So that's the large one, but swipe over one more time and there you go. There's the extra large podcast widget, which is obviously an iPad exclusive given the size. All right, so all we need to do is launch the podcast app to populate the widget. We'll just tap on the widget like that to launch it. And there we go. So there is that beautiful extra large widget I really like the look of those extra large widgets on iPad OS 15. Now, let's go ahead and show you some more Safari stuff. So we're gonna go to settings, go down to Safari preferences, and here you go. Just like on Mac OS Monterey, you get the ability to change the tab experience. You can choose between a compact tab bar or a separate tab bar in Safari. So let's open Safari. Here is the compact tab bar that we're all used to by now, or at least, trying to get used to. I personally kind of like the, the compact tab bar, which basically combines the tab and the address bar in the same interface without having to have a separate address bar. Now I know I'm probably, there's no probably about it. I know I'm in the minority when it comes to liking the compact view. So let's switch over to the separate tab view. And here you go, you get a dedicated address bar above all of your tabs. So those tabs are no longer combined with the address bar. They perform like you would expect them to, just like that. So ladies and gentlemen, there are lots of new changes and features in iOS 15 developer beta 4. Which one is your favorite? Let me know down below in the comment section with your thoughts. And if you appreciated this video, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos 
like this. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.